Before I get into some of the planning, which first thing, I'm a little bit under the weather, so that's why if I'm sniffling, that's why. The first thing I'm gonna do is multitask, and I'm gonna put in a hair treatment while I do all of like my planning and chores and all of that, just so that we're resetting, resetting our hair as we're resetting our space and our plants. And rosemary is really good for your hair. I lost a lot of hair from 2020 over the past few years. Just stress, <laughs> just, you know, all of the things. I'm having a nice, lovely cup of tea. This is like a mango, peach, something. Really lovely. I have some fun videos coming up for TikTok and Instagram. So I've been trying to experiment more with my content just on different platforms. I mean, I feel like this kind, this probably could have been a YouTube video just because it was like so many steps, but I made a little TikTok on just how to make your own bookmarks with Procreate. I think these turned out so cute. I just genuinely love, love how they turned out. Doing this project just reminded me how much I love creating stuff and making things. Yeah, it was just such an enjoyable project. And then I love how they turned out. So that video is gonna be coming. And I also have some videos on how to make your own scrapbook in on your iPad, which was really cute. Uh, some more like digital painting tutorials and just like digital painting stuff in Procreate just because I think it's fun to learn how to use your iPad in other ways rather than just planning. So I always like to share a couple of other like fun creative projects you can do. So I have some of that coming and then of course all of the normal planning content. And now I'm gonna show you guys my spring garden seedlings. Now I'm gonna do more of garden content in vlogs just because I know not everybody's gonna be interested in this. This is part of my March planning. These are some of the seedlings I have. All kinds of stuff here. I have red bell peppers, carrots, eggplant. These are cabbage, beets, zucchini. These are all cucumbers that are doing very well. Onion coming in right there. Some summer squash over there. All right, now I'm gonna check in with my planner and I'm honestly scared because I didn't check my monthly my monthly plan once after the first week and I completely fell off of my habit tracker. I'm just gonna be totally honest with you guys. I have to be honest about that. I, I, I straight up just like didn't check off anything past, let's see, past the 12th. I just stopped. Honestly guys, I find it so hard to plan a month in advance. Every month by the second week, like everything needs to shift and change. I just, I don't know if it's me. Am I having a problem sticking to my plans or is that just life? And it's just like, things are gonna change. It's okay if like a lot of the things I wrote down, I didn't do because there was a lot of things I did do that I didn't write down in my monthly plan because I wrote it down in my weekly plan. What do you guys do? Genuinely, because I feel like I come on here and I make these videos and I always feel this sense of guilt, sense of like, I should really have my shit together because I'm a planner business. It's just like, this is exactly what I don't wanna happen. I had a productive month. I just didn't have it written down at the beginning of the month, like all of the things that I did. So, but then I look back at my monthly habits and plan and I feel like I didn't have a good month, but I did. I'm gonna keep my March really simple. Try that out, we're gonna see how that works for me this month and I will report back next month and see if that works. And we're just gonna keep trying to figure out what's gonna work. And definitely let me know below what you do. Give me your advice, I'm serious, I'm serious. Even if you don't comment on YouTube videos, I never comment on YouTube videos. So if you're like me and you just watch people and you don't actually comment, comment on this video, what advice do you have? What do you do? All right, let's plan. I just wanna start this planning session by saying the footage gets a little bit dark throughout this video just because it was such a rainy, gloomy day, so just bear with me. But the first thing I did was fill out my habit tracker. I chose just six simple habits in my habit tracker to focus on this month as to keep myself from being overwhelmed. And I just went in with a white pen and just erased all of the rest of the boxes. So that way I could put something in the middle and I ended up just putting a 
Pinterest quote that I found from Alan Watts that I really liked that I felt like would inspire me throughout the month and every time I go to fill it out I'll see it so I really liked this kind of format just if you ever want to would not have all of the habits in there you can try this out and maybe it'll help you feel a little bit less overwhelmed and I put in my to-do list items and my goals. I just wrote down all of the things that I need to complete for the course, um, things I need to complete for my spring garden, and overall just other wellness and work-related goals that I have for this month. And of course, keeping it really simple and just keeping it as minimal as I can. Then I added this little sticker from the doodle sticker pack, or it's the notes sticker pack actually, and I wrote in my TBR for the month. I've been really loving doing this because I've been reading about four books a month, three to four books a month every month, and I like planning it out a little bit ahead of time just to kind of get me excited for all of the books that I'm going to read, and it kind of motivates me to read more honestly when I have this there, so I've been loving doing that. And then I jump into my monthly calendar spread and first and foremost, always planning out different holidays, events, family events, if I'm going out of town, plans I have with friends, things that I've already set in stone that I'm just writing down to remind myself are coming up. Also planned a tentative day to plant all of my spring vegetables and fruit of course this is going to not be a hundred percent you know we can't control the weather if it's snowing this day in March I obviously won't be planting my spring garden but if it seems right then I will then that seems like a good date and it is the date that a lot of farmers and gardeners will plant all their fruits and vegetables so I just wrote that down I started to plan in some of the work related tasks so I planned a week to focus on editing the course um, and filming a week in my life vlog which thank you for all of the sweet and positive comments on my last vlog it really uh, made my month last month to see that because I had such a good time making that video so thank you so much for anybody who tuned in and, and left a nice comment it was very nice and like I said I really had a great time making it so I'm gonna do another one of those this month And yeah, I kept it really, really simple this month. I just wrote in a few things and I just, I wasn't writing down things just for the sake of writing things down, just for the sake of putting it into my planner to feel like I'm gonna have this crazy productive month. I just kept it real with myself, kept it simple. This month I actually filmed my full March vision board process for TikTok and Instagram. It's just a question I get all of the time on those platforms, so I wanted to show them some love and I know we do it every single month here. So if you wanna see my full March vision board creation process you can go over there and check it out but this is my final planner spread for march and i really like how it turned out going into march i wasn't feeling like the most excited but just feel more organized and like it just feels good to have a plan something to go off of even if you don't stick to it 100 it just feels good to have at least a direction a plan something to work with just to give yourself a little bit of motivation a little bit of just drive to cross off some of these things. And like I said in my yearly planning video that 
sometime in the year, usually within the first couple of months, you're gonna you're gonna slip up on all of your New Year's resolutions, all your habits, all these things. You're gonna slip up, and the most important thing is to not fall into that rabbit hole and to just get back up and keep going. We have planned our month, we're feeling good, and we're gonna try again. So I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing month of March. Spring is on the way and we just gotta keep going. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.